Be Wealthy and Smart, episode 1272. into a world of wealth and financial freedom without budgets, boredom, or bosses on Be Wealthy and Smart. And now, here's your host, Linda P. Jones. Welcome to Be Wealthy and Smart. I'm Linda P. Jones, America's Wealth Mentor, empowering women and men worldwide to financial freedom. On today's show, we're going to talk about inflation drops and so do interest rates because we had great news yesterday and that is that inflation came in lower than expected. It was a pleasant surprise, which sent interest rates declining immediately. The consumer price index for October, the core metric, rose just 0.2%. And what that means is excluding housing and energy, services prices climbed 0.2% from September and 3.7% from a year ago, which is the lowest amount in nearly two years. Now that's surprising lower than expected core CPI reading in October will boost the Fed's confidence that interest rates are restrictive enough and don't need to be raised anymore. However, expect that the Fed is going to keep saying the same rhetoric, which is that rates need to stay higher for longer. That's their role is to say that until rates get below the 2% target that they have. But that's just a distraction. What we really wanna look at is what is the market telling us and what is the data telling us? Because the Fed, remember, is data-driven. So they're gonna go by the numbers and the numbers are on a lag. So this is a delayed number and it's my opinion that inflation is going to drop like a rock. Now you can always have the one-off unexpected jump one month That could happen, but remember that the Chicago Fed president, Austin Goolsbee said, over the next couple of months, we might equal the fastest drop in inflation in a century. Remember that? A couple of podcasts ago, I quoted, that was Austin Goolsbee, over the next couple of months, we might equal the fastest drop in inflation in a century. You see, the Fed already knows that their numbers are rear view mirror looking, that they're on a lag. And they also know that because we had half a percent drop in the unemployment rate within one month, things are slowing down quicker than people think. And therefore, inflation is about to drop like a rock and interest rates are already starting to move down in anticipation of that. And not only that, but traders also pulled forward the timing of when they think interest rate cuts are going to start happening. You see, previously, the traders were making bets that it would happen in the second half of next year. Now, the traders are saying it's gonna happen in the first half of next year but the rates have already started to decline and there's less than a 14% chance that the Fed would hike rates in December. So the chances are very low that the Fed would make another rate hike. We already know that from what traders are telling us and the traders are usually right. Now, some people will say, don't get too excited. You know, this is just a start. You need to get more months of low inflation before saying the Fed isn't going to hike rates anymore. But that's not what the market's telling us. The market is telling us the Fed is done. And traders know that. And that's why professional investors are buying stocks like crazy. And we're going to see this huge rally that I've been talking about into the end of this year. We could see 10 to 15% from mid-November into the end of the year. That six-week period could be monstrously big for tech stocks. Now, there were some prices that rose. Unfortunately, grocery prices rose the most since July, and that reflected higher costs for staples like meat and milk and bread. And also insurance on motor vehicles increased as well. Wages in America, when adjusted for inflation, also rose for the first time in three months in October. But as I said, this jump in the unemployment rate was a very big deal. As Professor Siegel pointed out to us, it can be an indicator of a future recession when it jumps half a percent in one month. And the unemployment rate did rise in October to the highest level since early 2022, and consumer sentiment declined. 
So the consumer is not feeling as confident about going out and making large purchases. They're feeling less confident about that. And that may be because they don't feel as secure about their employment. Now on the horizon by the end of this week is also a possible government shutdown, which in my opinion would add more weakness to the numbers and reduce inflation even more. So we'll see what happens. It feels like something big is coming with this possible government shutdown. We might actually see a shutdown this time and we might even see some big changes ahead. I just have a feeling we might get some good news before Thanksgiving and have something especially awesome to be grateful for. We'll see what happens. If you haven't yet subscribed to Be Wealthy and Smart, hit the subscribe button and you'll be notified as soon as new podcasts are available. And all of my podcasts are on my website at lindapjones.com forward slash podcasts. And while you're there, sign up for my weekly newsletter for more wealth tips. That's all for today. Until next time, live the good life and be wealthy and smart. Thank you for listening to Be Wealthy and Smart with Linda P. Jones. Share the wealth and tell your family and friends about the show. Check out our website, blog, and social media for more riches at www.bewealthyandsmart.com.